Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. That is a ring oscillator. Uh, neon NE2 ring oscillator. And uh, these are one microfarad capacitors. That in the middle there is a 220 microfarad, 200 volt capacitor. These are 220 K resistors, and that's a full wave bridge made out of 1N4002 diodes there. And then these, of course, are any twos. standard ring oscillator and it's powered by the AC high voltage AC output from this jewel thief here and that is the input voltage and current value right now so it's some something less than one watt input and that's what the waveform looks like the top is the output and that's at uh, 200 volts per division so that's almost 400 about 320 volts there and then the bottom is the input current monitored across this little current viewing resistor down there that one 0 0.22 ohm current viewing resistor and the voltage drop across that is this bottom trace right there and it's agreeing with what I'm seeing here about 150 milliamps to run that ring oscillator at 6 volts and I'm powering the jewel thief just directly off of the output of the Ellen Co. power supply, no filter capacitor in there. And if I turn up the voltage, you can see that the uh, oscillation voltage of the ring oscillator goes up too. And at the maximum output voltage, I get uh, that. But that's really too fast. See that negative current excursion there? <laughs> so we'll turn the voltage down a little bit, turn it back down to about 6 volts or so. 6 volts gives a reasonable flash rate on the ring oscillator. I still haven't been able to get a complex fluorescent to light though. But the ring oscillator sure works well. Alright. Thanks for watching.